Hello and welcome to this new edition of XTI Insights. Today I'm joined with my colleague David and I'm Sufyan with XT Innovation. Last week our teams have visited quite a few SOLIDWORKS user groups and we brought you guys some feedback as it relates to some of the conversations and what's top of mind for some of these SOLIDWORKS users. So uh, uh, from talking to David uh, and the rest of the team, a hot topic that's being discussed right now is 3D experience on the cloud and what does it mean for SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS users. David, please give us a little bit of information. What does 3D experience on cloud for SOLIDWORKS really mean for these users? So 3D experience on the cloud is a collaborative environment where they're able to manage their product, their files, and their communication all in one central location. Oh, perfect. But, uh, you know, for a lot of these SOLIDWORKS users, they are using EPDM, and that's a product they probably use very much to. How is that different, and how is 3D experience different than, than, than EPDM, or is it? So 3D experience is really a big change from EPDM. It's a lot larger than EPDM. Um, it covers a lot more scope in terms of the actual product lifecycle, but it also covers uh, what some customers might be using in terms of other applications. So a lot of our customers uh, that have EPDM are also using solutions like Dropbox or SharePoint or Slack um, to do their communication. They've also got emails going back and forth. And the 3D experience takes all of this different functionality and puts it in one single repository so that you've got a digital thread for all of your data. Great. Can you give us a little bit of an experience of how 3D experience would be used uh, either collaborating internally or externally uh, with suppliers or customers? Sure. So internally, um, the 3D experience uh, allows you to have a single place where you put all of your SOLIDWORKS files, similar to an EPDM server. But it also gives access to those 3D files to people who may not have a SOLIDWORKS license. So for example, supplier managers, program managers, or engineering managers. So any of those people can actually go in and see the 3D shapes and the product structure, break it down, look at individual parts, hide, do measurements, things like that, on the web. Um, this means they don't have to install a SOLIDWORKS license, and they can use it over devices like a tablet, or a phone, or on a, any sort of laptop, Macintosh, or PC. Um, from the outside, um, interacting with people outside the company, um, the 3D experience uh, helps customers interact with their supply chain. So a lot of customers will have a supplier portal that is separate from their PLM environment, and they have to maintain that and make sure that the data on that is synchronized and updated with the things that they need to share with their suppliers. The 3D experience allows these companies to have a specific secured area of their PLM server that their suppliers can access to download specification or part models and things like that for manufacturing that is kept in sync automatically with the rest of the 3D experience data. So this allows them to reduce the number of different environments that they have and also have data that's more up-to-date when they talk to the manufacturing partners. Well, thank you, David. So just to recap, uh, and what I hear you say is 3D Experience is a unified collaborative platform available on the cloud so people can easily manage the data, product, communication, all on the cloud using any device anywhere in the world. And 3D Experience is such a strategic play for the so that even now SOLIDWORKS World is now being remained, renamed to 3D Experience World. Yeah. If you'd like to learn more, please join us uh, at xdinnovation.com or contact us and we'd be happy to provide you with a complimentary evaluation so you can see for yourself what 3D Experience can do for you. David, you. any other? Any other? No, I think it's around. Thank All you. All right, thank you.